What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We're just doing a uh, filler here. Um, seven uh, football mixer spots giveaway with this 2023 Panini Prism Football Blaster. One box break, random teams, uh, number one. And again, guys, uh, tonight only, Nick is giving away seven free spots. So instead of selling 32, we're only selling 25. We'll randomize the 25 names. We'll give away seven free spots back to you guys to increase your chances. Then at the end, we'll take all the names, randomize them, and the top five names get a spot in the football mixer, guys. So let's do that uh, giveaway first. We're going to use it for the dice roll for the giveaway and for the list of names and teams. It is a four and a five for nine times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times. Four and a five, nine, nine. Jared, Zach, Jared, William, Tim, Ryan, and William. There you go. Congratulations to the top seven there. After nine times. I'm going to paste your name in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we're just going to copy and paste this list for later. In the order you guys bought there with the giveaways. And now let's go nine times here on the list of names and teams for the break. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Zach down to Eugene. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Commanders down to the Saints. All right, of course, there you go. Yeah, Rex, I actually talked to Joe about that too. And I thought it was a little, I thought that was a little weird. And I found it pretty dumb too at first, but then Joe kind of explained to me that, um, I guess last time the, the MLB teams had an international game, they actually started uh, the season internationally and then flew back over here to the states to continue and i guess a lot of people complained that they were really thrown off because the whole jet lag the whole adjusting to the time change and all that so i think the mlb decided this time around to have it like a week before uh opening day that way when they come back they have a few days to adjust to the time change the jet lag type of deal um, you know, get back into maybe a couple practice games before you start the season. So, it does sound a little dumb. I thought that too. But then explaining it that way, that it kind of affected a lot of other people in the past. Um, I think it makes sense, you know. Or at least if they would have came back and just not had to play for like four or five days, then start the season would have been a little bit better. But, I mean, it is what it is. I think if it, if it helps the players out a lot better then why not? Yeah, Rex, I mean, exactly what Chris said. Just trying to expand their market, man. It's not a big deal. Baseball is a worldwide worldwide uh, sport where people play it all over the world. So why not have the best league come and play in your city? You know what I mean? It's all about money, yeah. Plus, again, there's, there's talent all over the world. So... Bringing it to Korea or bringing it to whatever country they're going to play in might inspire 
these young kids and athletes to want to be a baseball player, you know? So you may think why I have this, but <laughs> I mean, that's, pro that's the main reason. Hell, I think back in the day, Babe Ruth went to like Japan and played. The Yankees played against like Team Japan. I didn't even know that that happened, but I guess back in the day they did that. So they've been doing that shit for a while. Or at least the Yankees played a team versus Japan or something like that. I don't know. All right, we have a fresh case here. So I'm just going to grab a box. Whoa, Prism Blasters look like this? Whoa, wait, this is not the same. This says Orange Blaster. Hold on, guys, sorry. I think I grabbed the wrong case. Whatever, I'm gonna use it. If it's better than the one we're supposed to advertise, oh well. It's the only one we have. I mean, it's like. It's the only prisons we have back there that I've seen. Alright. It's not a big deal, I don't think so. I don't think so. Because these laser prisms are actually like $10 cheaper. So those are actually mm. a little more expensive, like by 10 bucks. So. Yeah, well, that's the only case I've seen back there, so I'll just tell them, but if not, next time we'll get the right one. Uh, People should not complain, this should be nice. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's a more expensive box. So. Yeah. All right, guys, let's do this. Well, Granite Rex, I think, uh, I think um, MLB is uh always had relationships with korea japan all these places and i think next year mlb is going to japan actually and uh, they haven't decided what two teams to be playing to take over there but you have to have the dodgers there right i mean you have two big superstar japanese players on your team so so i mean whatever and at the end of the day 
And it's, I think it's great for the sport. It's just like the NFL. They want to expand their market. They want to get people to love football in other countries. So that's why they go to Germany. And that's why they go to the UK and Mexico and all these places. But see, football's a little easier, right? You only play one game and then you come back and you have like a bye week most likely. So it's the same thing. But I don't think it's a big deal about them coming back and going back to spring training. They're going to play 100 in, what, 62 games? I think it'll be just fine. Whoa. So if this blaster is better, guys, you guys got lucky. I couldn't find the regular one. Rishi Rice. That's like a variation, too. Tannehill. Kirby. Felix. Dat Nguyen and Kenny McIntosh. These are nice. Very nice, very nice. So like I said, this is the only blasters I found, so we'll use it for this one. If I find the real ones, then we'll go back to the real ones, but I'm pretty sure we can use these. I'm gonna mess with Snake. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. You probably just couldn't find the right photo of these blaster exclusives. But nice, we got an image variation in there. And we got some nice little orange ice, which I think Joe looked it up, and it is a little bit better than the normal blaster, so. Got that for your guys there. All right, now let's switch scenes and let's do the break. So, uh, dice roll, there's a customer names, top five, get free extra spots. Let's roll it. Five and a five, ten times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Ten times. William, Zach, Simon, Simon, wow, and Simon. <laughs> What a randomizer for you, man. Did you only get three spots, too, and they were all in the top three? Oh, my God. What a randomizer. There you go. Top five are in there, guys. Thanks for giving it a shot. So there you go. The first one is in the books. We're doing another one where we're going to give away seven free spots again. And, again, we have to do three more. But if we can sell these three out with the giveaways, you know, take advantage of that, guys. That can definitely help out a lot. And uh, all we need to do is sell those straight-up spots that we have on the website. And then we'll be in Breaksville, guys. So appreciate it. Thank you, guys.